reason really to why people fail in life only one reason dishonor dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles that is the only reason why people fail dishonor to god dishonor to men dishonor to principles i've taught you here in koinonia that honor is the key for access every time a door closes over you it was dishonor that closed that door especially if it was once opened any door i assure you by god that once opened over your life and is now closed dishonor closed it business doors especially doors of help and support there are many men of god who may never be allowed to minister in certain circles again because even though they were anointed and gifted dishonor shut that door towards them many of you at one point or the other you've had unusual access into the lives of people especially great and noble people spiritually politically and otherwise but dishonor close that door what is dishonor the trivializing the demeaning the downplaying of people's achievements people's uniqueness and people's value when you trivialize when you demean when you downplay people there are severe life-threatening consequences I've taught you to practice honor honor is a powerful spiritual principle that will help you will lift you will bless you I am a beneficiary of the law of honor there are circles that ordinarily outside of the grace of God upon my life I should never be in those circles or enjoy those privileges not at this level of my life moving at the natural human pace but honor is an accelerator it can fast track your destiny honor can bring you into the achievement of your 10 years later now is someone learning don't live a life and say it's only God that I know and dishonor everybody no there are people in this Abuja there are people in this nation it is within their power to lift and bless and help but all the people around them who are in need of that help have perpetually communicated dishonor to the point that there are even parents that will they, are, they wrote their will to house helps and other people not their biological children because of the level of dishonor please say in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to practice honor honor is powerful there are people who never greet anyone once the person is not rich or wealthy you don't greet them mm -mm, let me look for the rich people that's parasitism not honor if it is genuine honor it must be for all men because you see the person who is already made you've seen their end but the person who is rising you don't know how far they will rise some of you after this service you may need to call your loved ones or call people around who have perceived that you have communicated dishonor perpetually and let them know that you love them and you honor them there are men of God who will come and mount another man of God's pulpit and rubbish the ministry, rubbish what they are doing, downplay the work of the man and share the grace. If you are that man of God, will you invite any other person like that to come on your pulpit? It is because of this fear of dishonor sometimes that men of God seem overprotective with their pulpit. Because they love the sheep so much, they don't want to bring people who sell a narrative that dishonor is marketable practice honor honor children honor your subordinates honor your contemporaries honor your superiors honor all men honor kings and you will watch your life keep shining